I'm Ella Kitten. You can call me Ella or Kit if you prefer. And welcome back to my channel. Today we are back with another not so very super excited for this one because if you watched our last episode, Minty Berry got married to one of her coworkers, Christopher Lannister, and during their ceremony, found out that she is expecting um, one, two, I don't know. I haven't cheated and checked um, MC Command Center to see, so it'll all be a surprise whether it's a boy, girl, uh, one, two, triplets. <laughs> Fingers crossed it's not triplets. That would be stressful. But um, yeah, I'm super excited. Maybe she'll have the baby slash babies today. Um, we'll just have to wait and see. We are really, really, really needing promotions today. And we have to work on her aspiration because that thing, it's... <laughs> I was hoping that it would just come naturally, that maybe her personality would be, like, too much for some people. Um, but... I don't know. We'll see. Um, we did have an update yesterday, two days ago, maybe yesterday as of recording this, but I'm recording this the day before, so, <laughs> uh, I like to, you know, push myself and do things right, right, right to the end, <laughs> apparently. But anyways, um, I'll put yammering on phase if you are enjoying this series, please let me know. Um, and yeah, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like. I'll go ahead and get that part over with and we will just get into the video. <laughs> okay, we are back in New Crest. That is another thing that I forgot to mention in the intro is that our house isn't big enough for a baby. Um, so we might do a little movie move today. I should have made sure that my mods were up to date before recording this. Okay, well, hopefully that doesn't mess things up too bad. Um, it is 6 a.m. on Saturday, so that means that they should be... Why is he still tired? Did they... Oh, they're both still tired. Did they not sleep at all last night? What time did we get home from our wedding? I don't even know if I checked. Okay, well, we are going into the weekend, unfortunately. It might be a while before we can get our promotion, but I'm gonna go ahead and take care of their needs, and we'll see. We're not poor. Okay. Maria just, well, she called, first she called. And she was like, hey, I was thinking about going on a date with Knox Greenberg, which, side note, is kind of funny because the first time that I played this, um, Minty actually married Knox Greenberg. <laughs> but um, uh, that was like on my own time. Um, but yeah, and then she comes over topless. Um, and because Minty's a jealous sim, she started like berating her for coming over like that. And she's probably feeling a bit insecure about her pregnant body. Um, it's, Maria's got freaking abs. <laughs> but yeah, so... Uh, so yeah. She she just... Just came over looking like that. And Minty started berating her. Oh, shut the door. Whistle! <laughs> okay, so we told her to go away, and when she walked out the door, Mindy was like, see ya, like, never. Um, why are you in here freaking talking to- Oh, she's puking in the bush again, poor baby. No, you need to tell her to go away, too. Just go away. Dag, <laughs> dag. My wife told you to go away. You need to go away. Why are you acting so friendly with her? Christopher, he's too nice. And now that Maria is gone, 
Um, she's taking a bath. She's still feeling good, even though she's got some hurt sentiments. Um, but she's feeling good about her marriage and about uh, finding out she's pregnant. Uh, oh, and apparently about a social bunny post that she made, I guess. <laughs> Um, so when she gets out, we are going to have her just experiment and, uh, maybe play some chess, get some of her skills up, I think. Another thing that I forgot to mention is it was within the week. Okay. So we got the phone call on big summer blowout, which was the last day of summer, Saturday, um, that said we had seven days to get married. But I believe the day after that, I added seven days to her life because I realized she wasn't aging and we had already played a week. Um, so, beer. This is going to sound crazy. I know we're friends and all, but sorry, forgive my UIs. I'll fix it before next time. Uh I have a crush on you. Phew, there it is. I'm there. <laughs> it's out there. So would you go out sometime? I just we we just got married, dude. You cannot pop and you cannot slide into our DMs the day after we get married. I think she's just gonna <sighs> if. If they were just engaged, I would say let's be friends. But the fact that he did that the day after we got married, I think that calls for, like, a little more drastic. Let's ghost him. Does that mean you don't want to hang out with me? No, honey. You're, like, a few days too late. Um, but anyways, the, the whole um, marry for money thing. I think that I messed that up, and it it still should have given us the money. So I did go ahead and cheat the money into our account. Um, because, again, we followed the rules. We got married within the seven days. But also, um, we need to move or add an extension. But I think we're going to move. Um, I think, here's my logic. She works in the desert. Do you see a desert? I don't. So her commute must be insane. Or their commute, because they're both scientists. So I think we're going to have a move to Oasis Springs so that she has, you know, they have closer commute to work now that they have a little family. It makes sense to me. So because she's pregnant and because we should be moving um, this weekend, we're going to go ahead and have a staycation honeymoon instead of go, go somewhere. That being said, I think I'm going to go ahead and start packing up a few of their belongings to move and we will move first thing in Sunday morning. Okay. I packed up just a few of their things, like all of their collectibles and their computer and, um, all their work things. Um, I like to leave the house mostly as it is because it kind of, you know, you can look back and like reminisce about uh, their time living there. But yeah, I just took kind of, um, like I said, their collectibles and their work rewards and stuff and left all the furniture. But she's going to go ahead and get herself a little snack, um, probably use the toilet before before bed and i might have them play a little bit of chess together um and then i'll send them to bed and in the morning we will move <gasps> what what did y'all do that lost oh you flirted with oh she must be hormonal because she usually loves to be flirted with and she's in a flirty mood uh -huh. crazy girl they're both up they've eaten her belly be a pop in it now um we might need to get her some maternity clothes as well. Um, but yeah, I think their needs are pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and travel, move household. And we will be moving it to Oasis Springs since it is closer to our work. And this is the house that... 
I had prepared for them. Mm -hmm. It's looking like we are $2,000 short. Whatever house we pick, we're gonna have to renovate. And also, all of these are occupied, so we'll have to evict somebody. Um, okay, I had to um, sell a few more of their things from their inventory to be able to afford this place, but I made this house um, off offline, basically off camera. And um, this is the house that I'm planning for them to move into, but we couldn't quite afford it, even with the extra Mary for money, money. Um, so we're gonna evict this family. <laughs> Again, ignore the UI. We're gonna sell our furniture so that our other house stays as it is. And then we are going to buy this one up furnished. Now we have $195 to spare. That's not a lot um at all it's not a lot at all so. okay and you will notice i gave her a little pregnant makeover just um a little more sullivan uh i specialize in child care and i helped young families in your neighborhood plenty of times i'd be happy to help you out if you for a few days well we don't have a child yet can you call back in like a week That'd be great. Oh, <laughs> Anyways, you'll see a few of her, oops, a few of her different, a few of her different outfits um, as we play. But this is her everyday outfit that I, one of her everyday outfits. I also lengthened her hair. I figured maybe her hair is growing out just a little bit. We might chop it again later, or we might let it keep growing out. Um, but yeah, I thought this was like a really cute pregnancy outfit. It kind of shows off the baby bump, but it looks a little bit more comfy um, than what she had on before. But for the house, I actually downloaded this one from the gallery um, and then edited slash renovated it. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I'll see if I can find it and then give them credit below. But I added a second story because we didn't have quite enough space. I added a sunlight uh, or a su sunroof? Sunlight? What is that called? And of course, I gave it a minty green colored um, makeover. It did already have a pool and a table and some things. It had swings there, but I figured they were getting into yoga, so we, we might as well a little yoga mat for her um but yeah i didn't put anything in the um upstairs yet not sure what that will be if it could be one room two rooms a bathroom and a bedroom not sure yet but the bottom floor okay so if you're walking in the front door there's a living room a little dining area it's not been test uh I didn't play test this yet, so hopefully everything works. Um, a little U-shaped kitchen, oopsie. A little U-shaped kitchen nook over here. And then we did keep this from our last house. And I don't think we really kept much else, but I already put thing for our baby. Um, a little entryway with some books. A hall that's kind of bare because, again, I was trying to make sure that we could afford this. A little guest bathroom. Um, the main suite. We've got some bookshelves for her collectibles. A little poof dresser, bed, whatever. Very, very minty green. Um, kind of modern because the definition of our... Vintage Generation Sim is that she loves luxury and she wants to provide the best for her family. Um, the ensuite bathroom, which I thought was kind of cute. I don't know. I was really happy with the ensuite bathroom. Uh, put some clutter there. And then the stairs are here. I did initially have this as her office, but maybe her office will be up here instead. I don't know. And then I made a little nursery. I did just give it like a mint makeover, but when the baby is born, we will make it over to be um, red for our rose generation. 
but for now I just wanted it to match the house and it looked really cute very neutral and stuff uh, but yeah this is our new house for now we are going to go into build by and grab all the things that we did take from our other house um and probably yeah let's set her up an office up here okay so in our inventory we actually had a couple of things that i was able to sell which gave us um some money to buy a desk and chair and gave us actually 550 dollars left over um these came out of that so we gotta go ahead and slot those back in um but then everything else other than the desk and chair came from um, our inventory already and then we put all of our little my sims guys up on this shelf they all fit up there and i could have uh, spread them out but i wanted to also put our frogs um on here and we need a lot of space for the frogs the frogs take up way more space than the my sims guys trophies um Okay, so we have two more trophies that I forgot about. Um, let's just put Lindsay, no, 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 no. Yeah, let's just put Lindsay there for now and we'll put Leaf. Okay, Leaf will be on the bedside. That works. All right, there you have it. All of our collectibles are on their little shelves. Um, <laughs> I was like, where are these fireworks coming from? They autonomously decided to break in the new house uh, by woohooing in the shower. And that, my dear, is how apparently she got pregnant without me knowing. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, y'all are insane. I, if I hadn't heard the fireworks, I probably would have never even known um <laughs> all steamed up okay um but yeah anyways this is their new house uh let me know what y'all think in the comments we put a telescope out here we don't have a chess table so we might need to put a chess table or something out here i thought i had a barbecue pit out here but maybe it maybe i didn't have enough money I don't know, but we'll have to find a place for a chess table, maybe up here, and maybe add a, a barbecue pit at some point in time. Well, it is still Sunday afternoon, and I guess I'll just let them get adjusted in their house, send them for a little swim, and uh, yeah, we will see them tomorrow when they go into work. Oh, we actually... <laughs> And never mind, we actually get a welcome wap. Yeah, a welcome wagon. Um, so they're gonna have to get out of the pool and get dressed and invite neighbors in. Friendly introduction. Whoa. Honey, put some clothes on. Oh, I didn't realize that they had to go in through the front door. Okay, hold on. No, 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 no. No. Did you put on clothes? <laughs> Our neighbors first. Our neighbors first encounter with us is us getting out of the pool after apparently skinny dipping. Okay. I'm going to make sure that they introduce themselves to all of them. And this one, when Addison Oaks is pregnant, so possibly, mayhaps, our, um, our mamas could be friends. Alright, let's make some small talk. Oh, I guess they're husband and wife, Teddy and... Addison. Bobby Narble. Frong. Frong. Ooh, ask about your baby, baby's due date. Ask baby's due date. 
That's a friendly interaction. Squamish Gorsai. Why are you mad, girl? She's like, it says she's tense. She's acting mad. Oh, Shani. Yabara. Onib. They're still, they seem to be getting a lot. Hates children. <gasps> Girl, you're pregnant. You better get over that. Tea. Tea. The pregnant woman hates children. Also, I'm pregnant too. It's like, oh, hey, when's your due date? Oh, yeah, it's like in three months. Oh, really? Me too. No way. That's so funny. Uh, so tell me a little about your, so tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I hate children. <laughs> That's literally how the conversation went. Oh, I kissed her on the cheek. So cute. Okay, it's 7 p.m. and they're still here, but we don't have a welcome wagon going. Um, but she's gonna go ahead and take a nap, and I'll just let her take a nap. Um, I won't tell her to go to sleep sleep, but I'll... <gasps> what did I just do? Oh. Uh, auto lights. All lights. Um. I don't remember what I was saying. I won't send her to sleep. Just let her take a nap so that she doesn't get too rested before Christopher has time to to get a rest. It's not giving me the option of sending him home. Weird. Um, I can bro hug him. <laughs> Let's uh, bro hug and bro bump. I want to see what those do. I guess that means they're both bro sims, I assume. Torben! Branka! <laughs> the nerve! Ah. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> I love how it's like a bro hug and a bro bump, and they're like, yeah, bring it in. And then he's like, <laughs> that was so much fun. <laughs> I love being your other bros. <laughs> Oh, Christopher has been feeling really happy lately. There's almost a cheerful smile on his face. Maybe things aren't so gloomy after all. Embrace the change to swap from gloomy to cheerful. Okay. Love and marriage and romance does not make you happy. You have to find happiness in and of yourself. Preferably before finding all of, you know, love and stuff. But this is The Sims, um, and I think it's so adorable that like he ten he tended to be a little bit more gloomy, and then Minty came into his life, and he's like, you know what, things aren't so bad, and I think that's so cute. Sorry again, I, I will fix this before next time, I promise. <laughs> but um, my UI, uh, um, <clears throat> but I think that's so cute. So absolutely, yes. I know it would make it a lot more easy to have a cheerful sim than a gloomy sim, so yes. Hopefully our bills aren't too high in this place either. I did not think about that, but our bills are due on Monday, which is, it's Monday, and we only have $500, so. Um, hopefully we're not in too big of a pickle. Um, to be able to pay our bills. <laughs> I'm gonna send Christopher around to dig some things up because I don't know if he'll need any extra money to pay bills or not. And she is now in her third trimester and it says giving birth in question mark, question mark, question mark, but she should still have most of the day before going into labor should do. 
and we did not put our marriage certificate on the wall, so we need to do that. Yeah, let's put the marriage certificate in the hallway. This looks bare to me. Probably need a mirror up there, but um, we also don't really have any art in the hallway except for that, so... And work starts in about two hours. She's trolling the forums. He broke the uh, synthesizer um, while he was experimenting. So he is repairing it because it would take all of our money to replace. Um, but he reached level two handiness. And we are going to send them to work alone. So I'll probably just see y'all when they get home from work. Okay, it's about five hours later. Um, I have put baby kitten down. I have taken a nap myself. Um, it is now at 3 a.m. my time, and I was editing um, the video when I realized I have way too much footage. So we're going to go ahead and end the video here, and we will pick up next time um, with them uh going into work and yeah so you'll see me look the same next time and then i might change i might have like a, a costume change <laughs> halfway through the episode i don't know um i haven't sorted through the remainder of the footage but i still have about 30 minutes left of footage um to edit and i'm like yeah no this video is long enough already so let's just go ahead and re-record an outro for right now. Um, but anyways, yeah, we moved. We gave her, we gave our Mindeep some a makeover. We met all of our neighbors. Um, we, our neighbors met us. Um, <laughs> that was, oh my gosh, uh, that should have been my thumbnail for, for sure. Um, but yeah, when we, when we come back, fingers crossed, we get a promotion. I already know what happens for the next, um, like one or two in sim game days, whatever. Um, but yeah, there's, there's, um, some fun stuff ahead, but yeah, I'll go ahead and add this intro to the, uh, middle of the video and <laughs> go ahead and get that posted for y'all and I will see y'all later. Bye.